Hello everybody and welcome to Jurassic World Evolution Mesozoic Metropolis. That's right, we're back here again and in the previous episode we did the beach and the highway which I made a little change to and I included this path which now that I'm looking at it looks a little weird but it's going to help connect to like other parts of the um, you know, the city. And um, for today's video, we're going to be working on the Injun Harbor, which is going to be up to about here, I guess. Because we, I realized we were missing it, and we don't need, like, all of this space for the suburb area. So we're going to build this area. And also, we may get to working on the farm, which is what I was also missing over here. So... Let's get started, and um, well, first thing we need is a little bit of a dock, so we'll have, we'll actually have two, one here, and one here, and let's go right, well, no, let's try and keep it even, so, hold on, oh god, one, two, three, yeah, three will do. And then there. Hold on. There you go. And... A third one. There you go. First dock is done. Oh, it's going glitch again. There you go. One, two, three. And... Well, no, hold on. There you go. Oh, and guys, we have also, as of recording this, we have hit 100 subscribers, which, thank you to all the support for that. Now our next goal is to get 1,000, or at least 500. We should probably start there. But, you know, we can still think about 1,000. And I want to say thank you to all the people who have subscribed and joined the hunt. And, um... I also asked them um, in previous videos for you guys to leave some questions if you want me to ask, well, answer in a QA. and a um, Just to inform you guys. Okay, so let's see. Where's, which one has, ah, uh, yes. This has the, um, can we fit them in here? Yes, we can if we change this and we put it this way. There you go. Now we... Nope, nope. There you go. We can turn it this way. Ah, yes. Really? What is with that path issue? Okay, fine. We will go like this. And then... Hold on. Nope. Nope. Path. Boom. And then we go out here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. There we go. And now we just got to do over here. Oh, no. We'll need to do it a bit more. But first, let's just do right over here. Nope. A little more. There we go. And now, a little out. And I think we can fit, um, no, no, wrong one. We need this, and can we fit it? Okay, it's a little off on the angle, but I can change that. Oh, go figure. Nope, we need a little bit closer. And what dinosaur should we have here, guys? I'm thinking we can do, like, the, um, velociraptors and stuff. And 
I'm not gonna, like, put them in this enclosure yet. Like, mainly because of the fact that, well, if I do, they're going to, you know, break out and, like, k kill people. And I don't want them doing that, like, but they can be, like, implemented for the future. Alright, now, a little over here. And, nope, a little more. There you go. And there we go. That's done. Now, I'll fill this in for a second, but first I want to make some velociraptors, which, what are we going to have? What kinds do we want? Well, we can make a bunch, actually. Let's make, let's make a bit of all of them. Alright, so... Not the basic, I mean. Um, so we'll have a bit of 1993, well, modified, of course. Let's go, well, first, let's do the attack one, so. Aggressive instinct, aggressive instincts, aggressive instincts, and then turtle to get up that defense. And then we'll do this, and then... We'll do four of these guys, and then four of the tiger stripes. And then we'll do the, um, so on and so forth. Alright. Oh, no, no. Alright, males. And we'll get some females in later on. And... What the hell is going on down there? Okay, so, males, the Allen, the Allen, and the females, and then we'll continue working and let them out once they're, you know, done. Alright, there we go. Now for the farm, I actually know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to have, um... The Nasutoceratops has the dinosaur for it, which we can put in here because the area they'll be in is going to be fenced. We can maybe put something else like Gallimimus as sort of like the chickens. After all, their name literally means chicken mimic. But, hmm. Alright, so. Should we have a power station like... Not a big one, like a medium one. Okay, what is with this? Are they on different terrains or something? Let's see. Okay, yes they are. That might explain it all. They're on different terrain levels, which doesn't make sense because I flatten all of this with the water tool. That might explain every time that's gone all weird on me. Okay, what the hell? Why is it still not working? What the hell? I just flattened it with this. Okay, I'm so confused. What is with this? Hold on, I know what I forgot to put here. Wrong one guess and now we will put the path around you come on and I hope you guys are enjoying this series like as of recording this I ha I haven't um uploaded the first episode yet because I'm Kind of trying to get ahead on the recording and stuff, you know, trying to keep a schedule and not get fall behind like I have um, by um, some of my other series. Like, I fell behind on my, um, uh, what was it? Um, my, um, my, jur my novels, Michael Crichton series where I go over some moments from the novels. I fell behind on that one. Okay, I can see the 
I'm changing elevation. I'm so confused. What is with this? And I think also the raptors are done, but I'll deal with them in a second. Alright. This can be a little... Hold on. You will go... You'll go here. And then... We'll... Come on. And hold on. Split this up by one. Fine. There you go. And all the way down. There you go. And then we'll destroy that. I could, like, change this to make it fit a path, but I don't need to. And this could be sort of, like, storage and stuff. After all, I called this the engine harbor, so... This could, that could be holding a dinosaur in there. Now, let's... Get this. And the sun is setting. <clears throat> and we'll check how far we're going into the housing area, because I don't want it too big. Okay, let's see. Wait, how far does it go? Okay, so yeah, this like area is like the rich area, so we don't want to... So like this area... Okay, so... We'll make a line here. Like, how about here? This will be it, because we also need a little gap to separate them so let's make sure we stay in there okay I'm not filling all this with concrete yet but I also need to fit in the ACU so hold on we can change this shape a little bit because I don't want that there right now because that's just a temporary spot ACU. Yeah, I can hear you, T-Rex. Alright. How about over here? No, not even close. Okay, so we'll put it over here. There we go. Now. I need to delete one more quickly. Should I put a concrete fence around this, guys? Or should I, um, leave it open? Because... I don't know, don't they usually have like, well, I should probably put a fence, but should it be concrete? Like, especially like when it's separating from the housing community. I think I might put it, a concrete wall around like this area, but then when it comes to around over here and over here, it'll probably be like regular fencing. Alright, let's put that there delete you and hold on we'll change you hold on let's go straight there there and then we can get onto the farm which I'm a little oh no Jesus damn it gosh darn it I told you to Hold on, before we continue, guys, we need to, um, release the Velociraptors, starting with the big one, or just the 1993 ones. Oh, that looks so evil, especially at night, just the darkness around it. No wonder they were feared by all of... Well, except for by Rexy, of course, because she ate them. All right. Now let's take a look at the tiger raptors, my favorite of which. And also, guys, what is your ranking of the um, raptor skins, like, or the different types of raptors? Excluding the raptor squad, because a lot of people will vote, like, blue's my favorite. But, like, for the original trilogy of raptors, I would say my, f my ranking of them would be the tiger-striped, then the big one, then 
the um, males from the third one and then the females. And the males and females are the lowest because they're the least interesting to me. Like, especially the female because it just, like, reminds me of a Dalmatian, which... I don't know, that's just me. Alright, there you go. You're all free. Hold on, let's take a look. Ah, yes. Very nice. Hold on. I didn't even release Alan. Alan. With his mohawk of quills. Very nice. And we'll release you all. Now they'll probably have a lot of heart attacks, but they'll be fine. Okay, no cable, whatever. Well, actually, we can put these here. Come on, you go, well, hold on, actually, first let's put a path here, because I don't want them to be out of line, and you know what, let's have these ones, we need these ones connected too, actually no, get rid of that, it's not causing an icon to show up like, oh, it's not connected. And there we go, the um, harbor is done, except for like filling up this, filling bits of this. I could do an outline of like a mini boat, but you know, don't want to right now. But let's now go and work on the farm, which let's have the houses here because like the roads are already here. So we'll use the um how is that let's use fancy path because it looks more uh which which one looks more dirt like all right there we go dirt right there now we need something that looks more like a house which for or like a farm which for me um either clothes shop or the restaurant does for these buildings and here not really any do like the barn's gonna be the weirdest one i could use um this the um jurassic tour ride but like i don't want it saying having a notification all the time i'll I'll wait for it to like build itself and then if it's okay with them when it's deactivated will it turn off I'm not 100% sure so I'll test that now let's see which one will be better and um we'll get those Nasutoceratops on the way and those Gallimimus yeah 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 hold on Nasutoceratops and well we definitely need to modify them alright so We'll do attack, defense, well actually hold on, yeah there we go, that's like the best we can do, and we'll have them basic because I like the basic skin, and we'll have We'll make eight of them. And then probably ten Gallimimus as chickens. And I know those will be quick. Now, can this be... What's the second thing? Oh, it needs to be connected to a path, alright. So if it's connected to a path... Okay, so nope. That won't work. Unless I literally just... I'll do it. I'll put it... Um... Right by the house. Hold on. Enclosures. 
all the way down here. And then, because there's not going to be a fence here, we'll just wrap it around. We'll just wrap it around, and that'll stop both the notifications. The first enclosure, which this will be for the... Well, actually, we can have them both connected if we really want to. But I want to have this one as, like, the animal stock. And then one that's going to be over here, sort of like a... For those farmers who focus on their plants and stuff, we can have that. I don't remember what it's called, but whatever. Alright, we don't need this anymore. And we'll put a little dip down here. And let's get... Oh, something just vibrated. I think it might have been my phone. And, anyway, back to this. We don't want the fence uneven. So a little watering hole, nothing too fancy. It's just a farm. Okay, so I'll do both spots. So, like, we'll have one that's, like, planting stuff for the, um, winter and stuff. You know. Hold on. We need you. To come here and then we will lay it out line it up here all right so now hold on because it's this is the most dirty looking and because it's a farm we don't really need to worry about aesthetics here we'll do the bigger ones on the outside Close to the trees. There we go. Hold on. There we go. Very nice. Come on. Say blue. There was the blue. There was a blue. Come on, give me the blues. Ah, there you are. And they're trying to escape. And now we will do this one here. As close as we can. Come on. There we go. And how many did we do there? One, two, th okay, five. So we don't need to worry about them being too close. And then you will go there. Now, let's get a, um, hold on first. I want to make this dirt so, like, where they're walking, it's going to be constantly covered in dirt. And then, nope, nope, back to scenery and, um, You'll go here, and then you there, you there, and then guess what? You there, and then, no, don't guess it, you there, you there, you there, you there, and you there. And then let's get the landscaping tool and lower this down. All right, straight through, right around here, that line. There we go, nice line. All right, and then there you go. You see little lines of um, dirt where they're mostly walked on. Better here, but, you know, these guys are a little bit close. Now, let's, um, 
get the Nasutoceratops first, the cows of the dinosaurs. Like, literally, they sound like cows. Just wait for it. Okay, that one wasn't the example I was hoping for, but you know what? Close enough. Well, we can just wait for the other ones to come out. No problem. Request acknowledged. Okay, let's see. Come on, you be the cow that I need. Come on, go give me a moo. Please. Come on. Ah, that's the moo you want to hear. Especially when you're supposed to represent a cow. And wow, this was actually rather quick. I know I said I wanted to do shorter um, episodes, but like, look, that's basically the farm. We can put forest around here. And the mall is actually a bit smaller than I was thinking. And. I figured out how I can get a road around to it. We can have a road go around here, and then like a little parking pad right here, and then everything else will be buildings. Okay, so now let's um, let's give them, we'll give them tree one as like a little resting area. And then we'll forest it up here. Like one, two. Come on. There you go. Pretty simple. Now give it a bit more touches of grass. And then there you go. The farm is done. Now, realistically, when I finish the series and, like, you know, have them all break out and stuff, I'll probably have to annoy them by getting rid of all the trees, but, you know, we'll have to wait until that happens. Now, are there any more Nasutoceratops lying about? Oh, there's one right here. ACU, you missed one. Come on, how could you miss him? He's got giant horns, and he sounds like a cow. And he goes, moo moo, moo. Yes, you do. You know, I just realized, how effective would those horns really be? Like, they're as long as his nose, which I know he has a huge nose, but how effective would they really be? Like, it, especially against a carnivore. Like, if it goes underneath of it, like, so, like, say it were to attack the Tyrannosaur, it could realistically, like, lower its head and that way the horns would be impaling like it's underneath that I could understand but like in a lot of the cases I don't think it would be as effective just who knows maybe they were super effective and I'm really insulting them but think of it this way in battle at Big Rock when we were first introduced to them we see a Nisu the Nasuoceratops that fights the outsource literally smash it, impale it, as the fight, as soon as, um, the, um, baby is, escapes from it. As soon as that happens, we see the Allosaurus get impaled by it, but it doesn't do, like, anything to it. Like, watch Battle at Big Rock, focus on, like, when they both, like, run at each other. You can literally see the, um, Nasutoceratops slam its horns into it, and the Allosaurus reacting, but it does no damage. Just... Take a look and you'll see what I mean. And there's going to be someone in the comments saying, Well, no, you're just crazy. The harbor is complete. So is the farm. But we also have to release the chickens, you know. And you may be thinking, What about all the other animals? You only have cows and chickens accounted for. Well, the... You give me options. Which, actually, speaking of which, Yeah, I forgot to say that in the first episode. I'd love to hear what dinosaurs you want in this park, so if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments, and, well, you'll have a high chance of having them in here. Now remember, there are some dinosaurs that I can't, like, include, like the, um, 
dinosaurs from specifically DLCs like the Carnivore DLC, Deluxe DLC, and the um, Secrets of Dr. Wu. Those are the ones that I don't have at the moment. I'll probably have them in the future sometime. Who knows? Future is uncertain. Uh, this could take a while. But guys, that is going to have to wrap it up for this video. I know it's a short, but I said that I want to try and keep these ones shorter. We finished, we did the farm. I'm a farmer now. Don't come on or I have to shoot you. Nobody's stealing my dinos. I mean cows. And we also finished the harbor and introduced the um, raptors and um, the galleys and the pseudoceratops. But guys, with, with that all out of the way, that's going to wrap up this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, leave a like. And if you haven't already and want to join the hunt and help us get closer to a thousand subscribers, even though we've only got a hundred, but we start at one and then get to the next goal. Well, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and join the hunt. Be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye